This is the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. Brought to you by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. A dominant effort by NDSU, checking all the boxes en route to a big-time 44-2 win over Indiana State. And Cam Miller coming on his third career start and first of the season, the sophomore from Solon, Iowa, calm, composed, and collected, leading this NDSU offense. And welcome into the Bison Football Show, everyone. My name is Jeff Colhane here with the head coach, Matt Entz. Hey, great win. Congratulations. Dominant effort across the board. Uh, your thoughts on what your team showed on Saturday afternoon? You know, the first thing is we challenged them all week to start fast. And for us to do that, we, we wanted every practice to start that way. And then all of a sudden today, we score on the first five series of the game. Uh, I think that was a, was a resounding mark the box yes. Coach, we got your message, and we're going to go out and execute. Yep. You make the decision. Cam Miller is going to be yep. your starter. He comes out, and I tell you what, uh, you talk about improvement from the springtime. He looked like a confident football player all day on Saturday. Well, he is. He's 18 games in. It's uh, it's almost two full years now that he's been under the tutelage of, of Coach Hedberg. He's been in our offense. Uh, just over time and seeing pictures at practice, there's a level of comfort that comes along, and he, he puts in the same amount of, of work as, as any of our other quarterbacks. And so that room develops each other, and that's what I'm most excited about. And he did a great job. And you're right with the, the composed and decisive in his decision-making. He does a really good job. How does the offense flow with Cam at quarterback? It seems like it's, it's crisp, it's concise, it's it's get to the line. It's yep. just the, the the way he runs it yep. has a has a fun feel to it. I feel like. Well, I mean, he, he works with our with our ones every day at practice, and so it doesn't matter if, if he's a starter or if he was the backup. Our, our one and two are getting reps with with all those guys, and so we try to eliminate any excuses or differences in maybe cadence or even just under center different ways taking the snap. So that way we get to game day. There's very little adjustment. Needed. Yep. Got to the tight ends early. How about yep. finding Babich and Gindorf in the passing game early and often? Yeah, Babich was a double plug. I think they were playing man free. Lost the big tight end down the down the tube. Made a big catch. And you know the, the great thing about it, and people don't realize, those two guys can run now. Yeah. For being 6'6", 6'5", 250 plus, both of them. And and again, I would be remiss if I didn't say, you know, our run game and the and the Rams up front did a great job. But those two guys are critical in what we do uh, running the ball as well. How about Kobe Johnson, the <laughs> longest rush? in school history, that 97-yarder. That's pretty impressive that, stuff. That is. I mean, it just became a foot, foot race at the end. And uh, Kobe a, was a high school 10-6 guy. I was giving him a bad time after the game. And he goes, Coach, that was 30 pounds ago. I don't know if I'm <laughs> running any 10-6s today. Absolutely. Well, a lot of big plays early and often. Let's take a look at our first half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. Way Miller to throw. with good protection over the middle. Wide open is Josh Babich. Babich, his first catch since the Albany game. All the way down. 10-yard line. Change up the play here on second down and goal. To the end zone. Touchdown. Babich. It's been an eternity for that young man to find the end zone. Fumble of the play. And that's recovered by the Bison. Scooped up. Looks like that's Logan McCormick who got there. Who actually one of the two Bison players who last played Indiana State way back in 2017. This is a 43-yard attempt. Down, kick is up right down the pipe. And good. His outstanding senior season continues. Play as Miller goes over the middle and wide open is Noah Gindorf. Gindorf rumbling down the field all the way to the ISU 45-yard line. The ISU 41, 10-0 lead. Watson. Christian Watson cuts it back. Still on his feet, knocked out of bounds. Put it all the way back at the 11. Tameric Williams. Look at that. Williams still on his feet, makes a nice cut, and into the end zone. Touchdown. Tameric Williams finding his legs in the second half of the season. Will Thompson take it himself? Kerligran hit. He didn't get in. He stopped at the goal as Kobe Johnson makes a move, and here's Kobe Johnson with the electric speed. He's going to go down the sidelines, 97-yard touchdown. He's been waiting to break one for two years. 
he'll get the fourth carry of the game here. And look out. He may go again. He's got that kind of speed and pushed out of bounds all the way down to the 39-yard line of Indiana State. Miller on third down and eight. Floats this one to Zach Mathis, who holds it in. Mathis, third straight game with a big-time reception. Here's second and seven. Miller gets away from the pressure, throws back to the end zone. That's caught. Touchdown. Watson. How about the hands? A lot of big plays there. First half highlights brought to you by Gate City Bank. Our first half stats presented by Nodak Insurance Company. Coach, you outgain them uh, in the first half. Really, really impressive. 381 to 160. Uh, you're moving the ball. You're getting the, 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 the ball moving on the ground, obviously. And so yeah, you go in the locker room up 30 to nothing and doing a lot of fun stuff in all three phases. You hey, know it was. It was, a, it was a good team win, complimentary football. Uh, early in the game, big turnover, takeaway by the defense, creates a short field, offense can punch it in the end zone. Uh, big, big fourth down stop right. uh, by the defense. Jackson Again, Hankey. You know, I, I say it all the time, you know, that energy, uh, that excitement, that's contagious. And then all of a sudden, what's the offense? Come out and hit a 97-yarder. Yeah. You know, and, and, and just build off the momentum. Yeah, a lot of momentum into the locker room, up 30 to nothing. We'll take a look at our second-half thoughts and highlights when we come back on the Bison Football Show. Teamwork. Talent. Dedication. Leadership. These values that win championships on the field also build community. Improve lives. a difference every single day for you for our neighbors for our community for a better way of life Gate City Bank This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. And welcome back to the Bison Football Show. I don't know if the second half could have started much better for your football team. Out of the locker room, three and out, yep. and you go down and score it. I mean, whatever the message was, 
obviously was heard. Didn't need to change a whole lot, obviously. No, no, we didn't. We just wanted to challenge. We had a we had a penalty right before the half. Another personal foul. Got frustrated with that a little bit. Just cleaner game. We got to play a cleaner game. Uh, we're not done yet. The you know fast start in the second half as well. You know challenge our guy. Everything we do, we got to start fast, and it was good. Uh, you know, we wanted to go out of the month of October with a bang yeah. and play our BB going into November playing our best ball. And and our kids, they, they believed in it. They understood it. Yeah, no question about it. It's a, a game where you're able to get a lot of young guys in. Cole Payton enters yeah. midway through the third quarter. You get to see him run your offense. Let's let's start there. What's your first initial thoughts on what you saw from your true freshman out there today? Uh, Touchdown run. I, well, that was a great read, great keep. I mean, he's got great speed. Uh, he just has a sense about him, and he's going to be a really good player. These reps today for all of our young guys, including Cole, you can't put a price tag on them because, yeah, they get a lot of reps in practice, but to be able to do it in a game-like scenario, competitive situation, it, it is really good for us. Yeah, no doubt. Defensively, you, you, I know there's two points on the board, but it was a code green right. shutout for your group. And you have guys like Logan Cop flying yeah. around making plays, the young man from St. Louis. We've talked about him. Barty Ogbu gets in the mix. LaShaka Rokes flushing yeah. quarterback. Marquis Siegel with Bar the pick. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. H huge day for him. Huge day. I mean, for him to make that play, just that's going to generate that confidence. He's been playing a lot for us, but now to make a huge play like that is exciting. Yeah, no doubt about it. As the Bison uh, improved to 8-0, 5-0 in Missouri Valley Football Conference play, winning by the final score of 44-2. to You put a, a bow on it. Um, what was your message to your team in the locker room with how you got it done in this game? Well, it's all three phases. We, we, we did a really good job moving the football. We scored in our first five possessions. Complimentary football. We created. We won the turnover battle. We got off the field on third down. We had fourth down stops. Whatever we had to do to tell the opponent to put the ball down, we, we got it done defensively. And then, you know, JP, another explosive punt return. Yeah. I mean, all of a sudden the ball's back at the 50-yard the line. We've got a short field for our offense. So each phase trying to set the other one up to have success. And I think we're doing a good job. We're creating depth still as we keep continue to move forward in the season. I've got two for you. You ready? You, yep. li you like these? Yeah. Penalties. And a lot of people were calling me about penalties last week. Only three today okay. for 21 yards. Five red zone trips, five touchdowns for That's your good. offense. That's good. That's a solid day. Yeah. It's a solid day. My grandfather would say that's a red letter day. I'm, I'm, there you go. I like that. A lot of big plays as we talked about, and the young guys getting some reps in the second half. Our second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. Fair caught everything so far in this game. Not this time from his 25 yard line. We'll see what the pride of Mulvane, Kansas can do as he gets to the outside and knocked out of bounds right at midfield. That's what he can do. On second down, Miller to the outside of Phoenix. Sproles shakes off a man. Sproles down the sideline and out of bounds. Inside the 10, all the way to the five-yard line. Now they'll try to pass it to the end zone. Lipke for a touchdown. Not get one early in this game, and they don't again. Stopped, and guess who? It's Michael Tutsi. 12.36 to go in the game, a third down and six. Wilderman waiting, floats this one, that's intercepted, and it's picked up by Marquis Siegel. Siegel down the sideline with a head of steam and knocked down at the 22-yard line. Speak of Omaha, here's another stud out of that outstanding football city. Second down at six. Payton keeps this himself, and Cole Payton for a touchdown. The second touchdown of his career to extend the lead. And you just want to see that mindset of going out there and competing regardless of what the score is. Wilderman, and forward. down he goes for a sack. And there is Shanley's Jake Cava for the sack. All right, fun there with the second half highlights brought to you by Gate City Bank. Our final game stats presented by Nodak Insurance Company. Coach, we talked about some of the numbers, but uh, one I like as well, 292 rushing yards mm -hmm. in this contest. That's a high in conference play 
for your offense and for your football team. We talked about penalties. We talked about red zone. And you're able to uh, win the turnover margin and turnover battle again today. Yep, a lot of, a lot of those statistics would tend to make you believe that you should win. And yeah. so that's what we're always, that's kind of our standard, kind of our benchmarks where we start. Um, that's our emphasis in practice a lot of days. And so it's good to see it when it all comes full circle. Yeah. Kobe Johnson, again, all the great players here at NDSU in the great moments. Kobe Johnson with the longest rush in program history of 97 yards versus Indiana State. He's our NODAC Insurance Company player of the game. Are you aware that you hold the new record for North Dakota State for the longest touchdown? Yeah, I, I was told right after the touchdown. And when I first heard, I thought it was just my personal record. Like, I broke my own record. I was like, okay. Then they came back like, no, 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 it's a school record. So just to be able to do that, it, it's honestly a blessing. And I'm, I'm excited to see where my career can go from there. How did you feel when they told you? Uh, I was just shocked, excited, surprised. Just a lot of emotions going on. You know, just to hold a school record like that is, is big. So like I said, I'm just excited to see what, what the future holds. Cam Miller was a quarterback today. How, in your personal opinion, do you feel this offense operates with him under center? Uh, I feel, I mean, with Cam, offense runs smoothly. You know, this is his second year in it, so I feel like he knows what he's doing. He's a great leader vocally, and he also leads with, with his actions. So, I mean, just having him in there is just like having Quincy almost. You know, they, they both bring great things to the offense, and Cam, he played well, and he's, he's going to continue to play well. Kobe Johnson, player of the game, coach, and his first touchdown run since the spring uh, against right. Illinois State. He's been, he's been hunting for that end zone, and that's one he'll always remember. Oh, for sure. 97 yards, uh, big-time explosive play. But you saw late in our last game, he's starting to have some positive runs. And, you know, when, when Kobe decides to hit it downhill full speed, he's as good a back as we have. It's when he starts to allow, you know, should I, you know, too much running through his mind. Yeah. And so today to see him make those quick explosive decisions I think is only going to help him as we move forward 44 to 2 the final the Bison 8 no 5 and 0 in the Valley 8 and 0 for the 17th time in program history stay tuned more to come our Olaf Anderson feature story takes a look at Jake Reinholtz the Fargo native who's coming on strong for NDSU that's coming up on the Bison football show Better starts with convenience. Our 43 convenient locations make running errands easy. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing time, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. And this means better ways to brighten your day. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Welcome back to the Bison Football Show. Jake Reinholtz, that right boot's been coming up big for Matt Entz and for the Bison. The Fargo Shanley grad has done some great things in his career here at NDSU. Zach Staten talks with him in our Olaf Anderson feature story. There's not many things more automatic than Jake Reinholtz. 
Heading into the Indiana State game, the senior Shanley grad hasn't missed an extra point his entire time at NDSU. I hope that's not a jinx. <laughs> you know, it's it's like a free throw in basketball. I mean, you're expected to make it. Um, so, you know, I've just been very grateful. Uh, they've been 100% so far. There was a point when Ryan Holes was concerned he might not be that automatic guy. When he missed a majority of the 2019 season, when he ruptured a quad tendon just a quarter into the season. I mean, your leg is pretty much everything. is your whole purpose on this team. And so to have uh, such a bad injury like that... Uh, it definitely brings you down a little bit, but um, just been grateful to be able to fight back. Fight back indeed. Just as a senior alone, he's made and kicked more field goals than he has the rest of his career combined. It's pretty uncommon that we get this many field, goal, field goals uh, this early in the season. Um, so I'm just uh, grateful for all the opportunities um, when the coach asks upon us to go uh, execute that we've been able to. And he even notched his first career tackle. One man to beat and Reinholz trips him up. Coach Grant Olson picked me up and, you know, he looked me in the eyes. He said, you know, that was a good tackle. You know, we appreciate your effort and everything. And, you know, I was just trying to, my shoulders a little bit sore. <laughs> With every challenge and triumph in his career, he's approached them just like his kicks, confident and calm. He's trying to do that one more time this year. The one he knows is his last as a bison. I feel like I've been here forever, but it's gone by so fast. But uh, spending time with guys at practice, you know, at the dining center, that sort of thing, just trying to relish it as much as I can. I'm Zach Staten reporting. All right, great stuff from Zach Staten there. Jake Reinholtz, I'll yeah. tell you what, kicked another 43-yarder today. Right. Two last week against Missouri State. He's kind of hitting all the strides right now when you want him to. He is. He's doing a great job of hitting the spots on kickoff responsibilities. And, and we're starting to stretch him out a little bit on some of the field goals. So Jake's been really consistent. And now that he's healthy, he's doing a great job. And he does a really good job of leading that specialist group, too. Um, those guys listen to him. He's, they're up watching film. They kind of have their own routine. And. Uh, I think that's part of the reason why that part of our game uh, continues to get better. Yep. All right, time now for our great clips, great question of the week. If you have a question for Coach, you can uh, take a look and leave that at the WDAY Facebook page each and every week. This one's from Jim in Lemoore, and Jim talks with us about, Coach, you mentioned uh, the process yep. and day by day. How would you describe a week of practice getting ready for an opponent? Well, you know, we're, we're, we're going to give them Sunday off. Sunday's our, our kind of recovery day, and Perencia Rule is the one day off. Uh, we'll go Monday through Thursday, and each day gets a little bit shorter. Uh, full pads on Tuesday, half on Wednesday, and then Thursday is what we call spiders, perfect Thursday. Uh, we have emphasis every day of the week, both sides of the football, and, of course, special teams as well. And um, as we get through the you know month of October, we start cutting back a little bit. This next week, November, we'll cut back a little bit. It's a long season. We've been going now for 13, 14 weeks. Uh, we got to make sure that we can, we're not beating ourselves up and hindering ourselves from performing at our, at our best mm -hmm. because we're having too much yeah. practice or wearing ourselves out. All right, Jim, appreciate that question. Great clips. It's going to be great. Well, Frisco means a lot for Bison Nation. Now, high school players starting to notice Ryan Jones is our Peterson Farm Seed future crop of Bison. Logan Campbell talks with him when we come back. and sports medicine at Sanford Health. Health lives here. Bison Nation, this is head football coach Matt Entz. With all that goes into leading the Bison to victory, 
The last thing I want to worry about is the clothing I need to look and feel my best. I shop at Halberstadt's West Acres because I trust that they provide me with everything I need for meetings at the office, press conferences, and casual bison attire. With plenty of options for sport coats, shirts, denim, suits, shoes, and accessories, I'm confident that when I need anything and everything menswear, Halberstadt's West Acres has me covered. Since NoDak Insurance Company started, we've gone from paying by mail to paying online. Your proof of insurance in the glove box has changed to a quick tap to our online app. And as new technologies make farming more efficient, our coverage ensures you're always protected. The way we live and work has changed, but our values, service, and commitment have remained the same. NoDak is constantly evolving to meet your insurance needs and deliver answers where and when you need them most. NoDak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Now, welcome back to the Bison Football Show. Well, Frisco, Texas, it's like Bison Nation's second home. So how do you not pay attention when the herd comes down to North Texas for championship weekend? It caught Ryan Jones' attention. Logan Campbell talks with him in our Peterson Farm Seed future crop of Bison. All NDSU players dream of getting to Frisco one day. But for Ryan Jones, that's the place he calls home. I first heard about NDSU the, the first time they played the championship down in Frisco. Um, I actually got to go to that game with my dad. The freshman quickly became familiar with NDSU after the Bison's reign in Texas. Several championships later, Jones knew this was the program he wanted to be a part of. The program and this, the resume here and the environment, I think it was the best fit for me. They, they had the people that I wanted to surround myself with, talking to the coaches and some of the players. I think it was they, just, they had the right people here and the right culture. For the safety, the hardest adjustment hasn't been on the field. Instead, it's been balancing life as a student athlete the schedule so far, you know, getting, getting used to having practice, you know, every single day, you're going to spend, you know, four or five hours a day with, with football and then, um, you know, homework at night, um, just getting used to the, the schedule, which I think I've done a good job with. And while Jones's time as a Bison is just getting started, he's looking to make progress on himself immediately. It's the goal is, is to develop myself the best I can um, physically and, and mentally as well. I'm Logan Campbell reporting. All right, great stuff there. Logan Campbell, our Peterson Farm Seed future crop of bison. Well, you, you know, you're down there so much. Wow. You know, you, you're starting to recruit that area a little we bit are. better. And Ryan Jones is a guy you're really excited about. We do. We get down there. There's about 14 to 18 schools right there in the Frisco Allen area. Uh, Braden Henderson, or Braylon Henderson, excuse me. Yep. Now Ryan Jones. But um, it's fun to, to see those kids, and they, they recognize the, the logo. Uh, the traffic gets busy, restaurants are packed anytime the Bison are in town, and um, it's been good. He's going to be a really good player for us, played at a high level down in, in, in Frisco, and so yeah. look forward to him continue to develop and being a big big part of what we're doing defensively. Yep. All right, here we go. It's the Dakota marker. I don't have to say much to get everybody fired up for this one. Next Saturday, 2 p.m. Central Time kick at Dykow Stadium down in Brookings. The Rock is on the line. Bragging rights on the line. You're going to treat it like any other yep. game. I know that, but initially thoughts in our opponent preview here well uh, unbelievable amount of talent that they have down there they got two really good running backs uh, played in the national championship game last year conference champion um, veteran team and I think they have a lot of 60 year seniors a lot of veterans on both sides of the football we're gonna have to play our best ball uh, in a fun environment uh, and uh, I know Bison Nation will travel well and help fill that place up yep expecting a sold out crowd once again coach great win congratulations and best of luck this upcoming week appreciate it thank you there you go the head coach Matt Entz my name is Jeff Colhane big thanks to Halberstad's West Acres the official men's clothiers of NDSU athletics the Bison ain't no getting ready for Dakota marker week that'll do it for us Thank you for watching. Good night, Bison Nation. Today's Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank and Pepsi.